So every time I come to Costco, uh, this is kind of where I start is the produce room. Kind of bypass everything. But I figured after 12 hours of work, what better place to do than go to Costco. So you guys, come along shopping with me and we're going to just jump into it. This has become kind of a staple of our house is Brussels sprouts. I in vitamin C and K, cut them in half, a little bit of uh, coconut oil, some sea salt, and it's, uh, it's an excellent source of nutrition, guys. Good fillers, I mean, they just roughage, put many cabbages, just can't go wrong with it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's my favorite salad. Everybody remembers this. Seven superfoods. I usually buy two or three bags of this at a time. Love that stuff. It's really good. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? I do have some stuff at home already. I'm just giving you stuff I don't have and I'm low on. Uh, I don't always like to do a lot of food prepping, so considering the prices of mushrooms that are here whole, like right there, versus what you can get in the store, it's already cut. I'll just get them at the store, it's already cut, and it'll save me some time. Food's looking pretty good. Do we need broccoli? No, I don't need any broccoli. All right, let's get going. Of course, these aisles. We avoid like the plague. I guess you can avoid it too much because you can't walk through it. Alright, I'm going for the beef now. The biggest reason I'm here, thanks to the inspiration of Dusty Hanshaw, serious you guys are. I have emptied my cart. We are leaving. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you why. Okay, so we are leaving empty handed. So this is the deal. This is why I shut down. As I was looking for flank steak, there was none to be found. I pulled one of the guys out. Asked them they had some more and they said they were out. The meat that they had there was overly marbled for my taste. A lot of, uh, I don't know, it's like a lot of the stuff I had out was high in fat content. So past that I decided I'll get, well, I'm low on my food prep, so I decided I'd get one of those rotisserie chickens that they usually sell here. The chickens were black as hell. You, you not only eat the skin anyway, I wouldn't only eat the skin, but definitely suggested of them damn things being overcooked. After I saw that, I was like, just fuck it. I'll go to another Costco. Man, Costco here in Winston, Salem, North Carolina. Tonight, y'all sucking ass. Yeah, they had the trifecta with me. They didn't have the flank steak I wanted. This, the beef that they did have there would just look very fatty than normal. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, some marbling you need for the flavor, but to the level they had, it looked horrible. And the chickens were, definitely could tell were overcooked in the rotisserie just a lot blacker than normal so I mean all of them were I sat there and looked through several of them I'm like with this long line they've already got it there I'm like fuck this why would I want to hang out in a line and not be able to get all the shit that I want plus it not be quality shit that I would get so yeah I uh I just cut my loss tonight so go home and figure out plan b all right guys well sorry for the shitty shopping experience with me tonight next time